see. All right, Gail Williams. Juras. Do you have a jura? A jura. A jura. Jura. Um. Jura what? You're a really <laughs> fine person. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the Eura Super Automatics here. Okay. You're going to take me through the set, the suite yeah. of products. Let's start at the lower end of things, the Ena series. Okay. Uh, this is the Ena 4. Mm -hmm. There's also the Ena 3. The 3 is going to be identical to this, except for black instead of silver. Okay, so this is two tone and, and the three is one tone. One tone, yeah, okay. but it's a matte finish and with the shiny sides like this. Got it. With a matte finish. One programmable button of choice, and you can program the what they call the aroma, which is the strength of it, how many grams are going to be ground, mm -hmm. and the temperature on it, and the volume of coffee Okay. in the cup. But you only have one, you know, only just one. one setting. Okay. But. Let's say you don't want what's in the menu, then you can override it with this button. Got it. And do what you want. There, this is the programming up in here to get into that. This is your grinder settings here. This turns. Beans. There's your bean hopper. Small. This is a. This is what they call their compact. It's a smaller unit. Thirty-two ounces of liquid. Mm -hmm. Back here. On off. Every Jura has a bypass doser. Right there, steam arm, up and down, spouts, and dregs, box, and tray, and all that comes apart for cleaning. Um, not removable brew group. On right, these. I was just going there. The, all the Jura models, the brew unit stays on the inside, mm -hmm. and you put a tablet down the bypass toner doser to clean it. Got it. But the rest of it's pretty much the same. Uh, you either descale or use their water filters. You have to choose one or the other in the menu, in the setup of the machine. Then we go to the C5, four programmable buttons on here, but you really can't, this is going to give you actually volume that you can put by ounces. Mm -hmm. On this one here, when you turn it, there's just a red bar that goes up for volume of coffee and for uh, strength as well, a red bar. There's no menu in that you can change the temperature or anything like that. Okay. Bigger footprint, uh, cup warmer, bypass doser. Now all the jurors you can put in two scoops, all the Seikos you can put in one. So that's a kind of a plug. Water tank, medium size for a juror. They come bigger than that too. Mm -hmm. uh, steam side, you can get hot water out of here or steam. Spouts go up and down on all the jurors. These are all, um, you can take this apart for cleaning like this. They all come apart. Put it in a cleaning solution overnight is what we recommend. Get the milk off of there. Little door here for all kinds of. This tells you what the different uh, symbols up here are for warning lights. Okay. And then okay. you have your bean hopper. Okay. Grinder selection. On the Ena series, I forgot to mention too. There's the uh, the Ena. Um, nine. Well, that's this one right here. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that. The difference between the four and the nine is this one has an automatic milk system if you want it. Mm -hmm. And it also has programmability up here, more programmable buttons if you want to just have more options. For your cappuccino brew mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay. And the coffee. Bypass those for water. All Otherwise the same. the same. Okay. Yeah. This is the C9. Now you're getting up into a little bit higher end where now you can change the temperature over the C5. You can change the temperature on this and program these for whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And the men you can. This is how you access the menu here. The programming. Cup warmer. Water tank is the same. Bypass doser is the same. It's the same footprint. Mm-hmm. As one the C5. touch, it, but it's a one touch. It does not have a steam arm. Okay. So now you have a hose that goes down into a container of milk, and you can regulate the foaming right here. Mm -hmm. Everything from latte to cappuccino. And these are your milk drinks over here, coffee drinks over here. Okay. And okay. still beans and everything on yep. that side? Yep. Oop, if I can open it, there we go. Beans and water. Okay. All right, so that's the C9. Come with me. S9. Now you're getting into the big bad boys, bigger. Mm -hmm. This has the one touch as well. 
four programmables over here, two programmables over here, coffee side, milk side. Mm -hmm. You can get hot water out of it. Um, you can do all the usual things, bypass doser, grinder here, bypass, two scoops, grinder settings, hot plate up here for your cups. Now you're getting into an even larger water tank. While we're here, this this is one thing on the S9 that's a plus. This goes up and down, and then if you need even more, the whole tower goes up and nice. down. Nice. Okay. While we're here, mm -hmm. this is the Jura um, cup warmer. Tossin' warmer. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, you put this on right there. Mm -hmm. This gets real toasty in here for your cups. Cool. So, that's just another little feature. And as you get close, it sucks the drawer in. <laughs> okay. Um, and this also has all the removable. Yes. Same difference. And all of them, all okay. of them uh, you put the tablet down the bypass toaster to clean the brew unit. The J series. I'm going to turn this on so you can see it. Mm-hmm. It has a nice interface up here, whereas the other ones have mostly just a digital interface. It'll show you the brewing. This actually has pictures of the drinks. It's kind of cool. Okay. Butterfly here. Up and down. Both sides go up and down. This is the one touch, and this is a, an improvement over this one touch. You can see it's a little bit different design. This seems to, this is firmer, easier to the touch. Mm -hmm. Does a better job with the milk we found. Okay, I liked it. See, this has a nice interface. Uh, beans up here while it's doing that. Haha, <laughs> where's the bypass doser? Hard to find on this machine. Right there. Mm. <laughs> Very incognito. Well, the first time there was a different, another J was the J6. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where the heck? Where'd it go? <laughs> Storage for your stuff. Okay. Scooping that water tank over here. Not really too large. big. No, but not too small either. I mean, it's smaller than this yes. guy. Yes. Okay. It's kind of that medium. It's not like the Jura or the Ina. To our Z. Z. Five, six, and seven. They don't make the five and the six anymore, but this is the seven. Mm -hmm. Lots of programmability over here, like four different drinks here. And on the, um, this is the milk side, or coffee side, and the milk side, you have three different drinks over here. Um, one touch, butterfly, hot water, up and down. These go up and down separately. Large water tank. It's got that mambo tank. Mm hmm. A uh, cup warmer will be up here. Beans right there. Grinder control. Bypass doser. Nice. Yep. And then this is plastic with this. It's got this like metal, metal clad face on, on it. Yep. And this comes out the front just like all the rest. Ooh, nice large water uh, drip trays on these. And then what do you have over here to the left, Gail? This is the cool control. We were playing with this on Saturday, so it's cranked up. Mm -hmm. This is a actual refrigerator. See the light is on? This is cold. It's very cold. Keeps mm -hmm. your milk cold, so you never have to put it in the fridge. For your one touch. Nice. Mm -hmm. Another, okay. We got hot down that end. Cool. Cool down, down this. End. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice. You could have this just hanging out on your counter all the time, and yeah. Cool. Uh, because if you don't have this, mm -hmm. those the other one touches come with this stainless steel container like this. Mm -hmm. well, we've had some cottage cheese that's been seen. Yes, as I was. Yep. All right, so that is the current state of the Jira Super Automatic. I'm trying to think of any that we're missing here. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have we have them all out here. Well, there is the XS90, yeah. which is the one for a uh, small office. Yeah, it kind of looks like the C9. Well, here, it, only it's huge. It's uh, sort of functional as the S9. Functional like this. And then it's got it like looks, a bunch of. The front panel looks like this, only it's got a huge water tank. And huge dregs box. It's got a bean hopper that sits on top if you want it, and also it has dregs box that's about. This thick and blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drip tray, I mean. Drip yes. tray. And the drinks box is big as well. Cool. That's meant for offices. Yeah. Or Where big families. Need a lot of, yeah, I need a lot of... I feel like it has a dregs box that will get you into trouble. Yeah, mold city. <laughs> None of these machines are plumbable. 
The SX90 has a kit that you can buy. No? Mm-mm. I thought you could. No. I thought I saw it on... Hmm. Well, we don't sell it. No. Nope. If we, yeah. <laughs> you, maybe you can buy it from somebody else, but you can't buy it from us. Can't buy it from us. No. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. no. Cool. All right. So that is the um, Jura Super Automatic Series. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gal. That's it. Hey, have a good day.